afternoon. Uh, this video is about some patients in regards to the 3 Series E92 chest, the inner tail lights. Uh, we're kind of focusing on the rear fault light bulb. Uh, I understand that you're reporting that you might have the uh, stage 2 brain uh, error message on your dashboard. After doing a lot of research and consulting with our vendor, it seems that the reverse light bulb is being doubled down and used as the second stage uh, brake lamps. So in the case that um, you're having that error message, um, typically what needs to be done or checked would be this uh, halogen mirror fog light bulb right here. And then I um, just wanted to kind of showcase an overview how to get this removed, how to get it replaced, and how to check, double check the contact points, making sure that everything is in order. So once you remove the, the inner tail lights from uh, your vehicle, you're pretty much left with this unit. Um, it's rather straightforward, but be very careful in which the direction that you're turning or twisting the bulb to unlock it. Um, it might be a bit difficult to see it in this video, but uh, I just want to point out that there is like a raised little uh, indentations across this little metal bracket right here that houses the um, halogen bulb. So just be careful in making sure that when you twist to unlock this socket, that you're not going the other way to bend this indentures like off from its original uh, position. Alright, so just be careful for these little small metal uh, contact point indentures that's sticking out. Again, when you twist to unlock, you're twisting away from these indentures to this allotted slot. From the bottom, you'll see a cutout. You just twist it, kind of work your way. And once you work your way all the way down to this uh, open slot, you should start be able to wiggle to free the this socket from the, the metal bracket. In the case you're having a lot of difficulty um, kind of popping this or removing this from the socket, as long as you've got these two uh, little metal uh, contacts or little wings in its little slot and you're able to kind of align it, what I do recommend if in the case that you're having a hard time pulling is if you have a non-magnetic flathead. Uh, magnets are pretty bad for these LED circuitries, so just kind of avoid using anything um, using magnets. So I have a plier right here, I have a, a metal tool that I use for certain things. So just make sure you don't use a magnetic tool. You can kind of wedge this in between safely, and you can see that you know I'm kind of spreading the contact points open, open this way, so that it's open just enough for the socket to slide out easily. Uh, that's in the case if you're having difficulties. So with, uh, with the socket removed, this uh, bayonet bulb can be just easily removed. Um, the bayonet bulb, all you need to do, um, try not to use your uh, bare hands if you have gloves or anything like that, or even a um, microfiber towel, that would work. Uh, go ahead, push against the bayonet bulb. You'll see it, there's a spring inside. And once you push in, you could twist counterclockwise to unlock and pop open this. Again, the motion is push, twist, I'll remove. You'll feel like a spring, a metal spring inside there. What it is, is uh, you'll see these little tiny indentures, and then that will fall into these slots. I'll slide into the slot. So if you want to replace the bulb, um, you just kind of follow the slots in. They only fit one way, so don't worry too much about it. So once you slide them in the slot, you just kind of push down on the metal contact for the spring, and you just twist to lock. So right now it's not locking and it tells me that I may have uh, misaligned it. So I'm going to check the, the in, uh, little indentures one more time to make sure I got everything correct. So slide in one more time. Oops. There it goes. So it really locks in one way. So right now I, I'm feeling the, the pressure of the spring. I'm able to twist clockwise to lock it. And then the bulb's not falling out of place anymore. So that's pretty much the replacement of the halogen bayonet bulb. Um, making sure that you want to put this back onto the inner tail lights and once you replace it. So kind of watch out. Um, I'm not too sure if you can see it in the video, but you'll see that contact points, once raised higher, the ones raised lower. So regarding the, the contact plates, uh, uh, there is a way, a specific way that this will slide in to the inner tail lights. And what I recommend is having um, the one that's slightly lower in terms of the contact point kind of facing towards you with this connector on the bottom so kind of facing towards me so this will go on this side whereas the higher contact point will go on the outer side away from the connector so once again if you're having a hard time because you know over time this is a little bit tight so you'll find that it, the socket will barely fit in 
So I do recommend you using some type of non-magnetic tool to kind of open up the uh, space so that the sockets kind of slide in. Get this in place. So again, the socket, it needs to be tight with held in there because if it's loose, over time it'll rattle and then kind of move out of its place in loose contact. That's why Depot kind of clamp them in like that. So again, spread this slightly open to get the socket in. Now that the socket is in, all I need to do is twist to uh, lock to the contact point. So I'm twisting uh, clockwise at this point to lock it in place. And you'll see, I'm turning it around, you'll see that the the flaps or the little metal contact point is now touching the indentures that you know originally I kind of point out in the beginning of the video so once that's kind of locked in place um, since if you do have a bench test unit perfect if not no worries just connect to your vehicle without installing it fully to run the testing to make sure to see if you got rid of the error message and then uh, if you have the, the ability to turn on the rear fog lights for the driver left side um, go ahead and do so um, right here I have a bench unit so I'm just gonna go ahead and bench the unit making sure that everything is working, no problem. If I don't have a uh, good contact, this won't light up, which I'll look further into it. So I do see it light up right now. And that's no issues for this lighting up. So one word of, uh, I guess, an advice, once you have uh, the socket removed, is uh, don't be too drastic in terms of bending the flap, but I do recommend ever so slightly uh, bending these contact points slightly down just so that they have a better grip on the contact points onto this uh, metal bracket piece right here. But again, ever so slightly, just kind of bend them down a little bit. I'm meaning about half a millimeter or so, just slightly bend them down. Once you got the uh, contacts kind of facing slightly down, it should have a better bite onto the contact points on the metal bracket. Um, hopefully this video kind of gives you a good overview of how to remove this bayonet bulb and replace it and what to kind of check out and watch out for in terms of connections and then how to kind of go ahead and plug into your vehicle and just to test it. I'll go ahead and supply it to see uh, we have a reference guide uh, for the overall taillight installation. We currently don't have it a moment, uh, but I'll look into the online just to see what I can procure. Again, this concludes the video. Thank you so much for your time.